Next guest. Well, I tell you, this is Olga. Um, I lovingly call her Olga. Uh, her name is Olga Lorenzen. Hello. Hello, my sweet. So Olga, and I'm going to have just everybody just get ready because this we don't have many of these to go around. It's hard to find it anywhere. Here's why. Because Olga owns a spa called Canara in West Hollywood. And among other things, she is Halle Berry's facialist. When Halle Berry went on the Bravo show with Andy Cohen recently yeah. and said, hey, this is how I get my glowing skin, which this is a three- step peel that is clinical grade, grade right professional grade it, it blew home. out yes sold it out did. sold out so here it is it's now a little red carpet facial you get in this three-piece system 14 treatments and you recommend we do it once a week once a week or you could do two week challenge in case that your skin feels a little bit rough if your makeup is not going on well you should try the two-week challenge otherwise do it once a week it is a professional grade three-step peel system and I think you're gonna love it because for a long time for last 13 years celebrities in Hollywood go to this as their go-to facial at home now so. here we go this is what happens because when Olga who I've had this peel done at Canara Spa in February when it was the Oscars and yes. we were out here live she did it for me it is the most extraordinary glow to your skin that also then becomes an exfoliation and a hydration thing your skin looks totally different after you get it done it's 10 minutes maybe that comes in the red box you're gonna take us through the different steps I just want you guys to know that it sold out when it debuted in February so please 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 do not wait now okay how do we do well, it well you just put a little bit of peel, number one, and I'm gonna demonstrate on my hand, just enough so your skin is wet. And then this is lactic acid and malic acid. It this will exfoliate your skin and it will make it really glowing. And so leave it for 30 seconds to three minutes, depending on your skin type. I say leave it as long as you can if you're not feeling anything. Here, I'll hold, you stir. Oh, thank you. And by the way, uh, this is exactly what Miss Halle Berry loves to do. And oh. this is exactly what I do in my treatment room. This is not some maybe, kind of, no, this is it. So step one, step two, and step three. We've done step one, now step two is? Step two, I'm putting right over the step one, and some of you might feel a heat, and it tingles. Little, it tingles. It major tingles. It major tingles. And some of you might not feel anything at all. No matter what you're feeling, it's working. But please stay here. One, when it starts to tingle, please don't just freak out. Just stay here. Okay, now wait. Now. I have to tell you, 500 ordered. Good luck finding this anywhere else. She actually pulled all of her inventory from wherever you got it and gave it to us so we could feature it in red carpet tonight. Because also E! Online and Allure have been talking about this and it's her famous peel system. But I do want to be clear, after you've done this, rinse and wipe rinse off. Rinse it off and wipe it off. And then step three. And step three is this fabulous mask all right on. here. And you just need a little bit again. And you said we do this once a week. Once a week or two week challenge. Or let's say you have a wedding to go to. At least do two or three times before you go to that wedding. Here, I'm holding your hand still. By the way, 1,700 remain and that's it. Um, so this is the exact Halle Berry facial, yes, essentially. it is. And then this is a mask, has lysate, mineral complex, Picard Robusta. This is a lot, way too much. This amount will be good enough for your whole face. And, and by the way, while you're doing this, because I know we're kind of selling out, um, the idea of appeal for the skin, like, what is the story behind that step in your beauty routine that it is, is so the, changing? It is by far the most important part of one's facial or skincare routine. You can have all the moisturizers, all the serums in the world. If you're not having exfoliated skin, your moisturizers and serums are laughing at you. Fourteen. They're just <laughs> sitting there laughing at you. 1,400 remaining. There is auto delivery, which is one of the only ways to really be able to keep getting this since right now, since... She obviously went on an Andy Cohen show and mentioned it, and then uh, everyone went out and bought it all up, is the way to keep it coming. It's called the Red Carpet Facial in a Box. It is a three-step system that she recommends you use once a week. If you have very sensitive skin and you find that you can only use it every couple of weeks, fine by me and her. However, yes. I want to say, since you've only been on the queue since February, and you sold out when you were here, debuting yes. then, fewer than 1,200 to go around, you, she, it is now nominated for a Customer Choice Beauty Award. Oh, that in was the so fabulous. I'm so peel. glad. I'm Are, so glad. How long so, is this? So this, 
anywhere from 15 minutes. Me personally, when I go out, I put number one. Number two, sometimes I leave this for up to an hour. The ingredients are so incredible in this mask. It's like in a really top rated moisturizer. So, then so we, leave it as long as you can. And then take it off. And then take it off. So the ingredients really are the story because when I was here for the Oscars in February, I came to Canara Spa. You did this exact facial on me in your, in your spa. Um, of course, we talked about the celebrity clients who I'd love to <laughs> mention but can't. So I'll just keep <laughs> saying Halle Berry. Only 500 left to go around. What is it that you put inside your peel that is so different? Because frankly, Olga, everybody's got a peel. Everybody's got a peel. This peel exfoliate and hydrate at the same time. That is the key. Because sometimes you can peel and you can be dry and you have a flakiness. That's not the point. The point is to have this done, go out and you look marvelous. Also, there's a long-term benefits. Wrinkles, fine pores, fine lines, deep wrinkles, it will help with the, okay, let me just tell you, with pores, the best thing about this peel that minimizes appearance of pores, deep lines and fine lines. So you get everything in one while it hydrates and exfoliates. Since we are going to sell this out and we are coming down to our final 20 seconds, and so I kind of feel like, well, why don't we just use those 20 seconds to maybe name drop a couple other clients <laughs> that you see on a regular basis? Would you like to do that since I can't? Uh, Eva Mendes. Uh-huh. Uh, I have to check for the others. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, it's sold out. You're <laughs> lovely. You're so lovely. All right. Um, Olga, come back soon. Thanks. But first, make more product, because right now, we can't have you back until you do. Um, oh, so, so Cameron Silver, who owns a store here in L.A. called Decades, and Mackenzie Westmore, who's coming up in the show later with something the celebrities love, and her family knows all about Hollywood makeup. Together, they hit the red carpet last night to talk to some of the biggest stars, including, of all people, Jimmy Kimmel. So, guys... What did you hear? I mean, I can think of nobody who knows more about beauty than Mackenzie Westmore. Oh, I mean, it is in your DNA. It definitely is. We're actually celebrating 100 years of the Westmores in Hollywood this month. So it's exciting. And I have to say, some of the trends that we saw on the red carpet, nude matte lipsticks, a lot of metallics, a lot of metallic eyeshadow. Oh, metallic on the face and metallic on the body. On the body, a lot, of, uh, a lot of golden bodies going on there, too. Let's see. So Mackenzie, nobody knows beauty better than you do. What are some of the trends we're seeing tonight? I'm seeing a couple of trends tonight. First, I'm either seeing a bold lip or a very nude matte lip, which I'm a personal fan of. I'm also seeing a lot of metallic eyes. That seems to be the trend going on right now, as you totally called, but the metallic eyeshadows are spot on tonight. I was worried I would be sweaty because last time I was here, it was 106 degrees. Right. And so I was like, you know, why don't I do a light eye so I don't get the smudges or whatever? And then I said, you know, I never do a lip. I'm going to 